a young man with everything to live for. Jeff Gray was described in court today as popular, cheerful and mature for his age. He was also so keen to join the army he reported for duty on his 17th birthday. Just seven months later, he was dead. His parents, unhappy at the open verdict delivered at the first inquest in 2002, have fought years for another. Today, that second inquest concluded their son had killed himself. I'm absolutely shattered with this um, conclusion. Um, as we said earlier on, the, the coroner said, you know, we shouldn't make assumptions. Um, and then he's just gone and assumed that Jeff committed suicide with no evidence, really. He loved the army. Absolutely loved it. Can't fault that. But I think it's now time that them served him. Let the truth be told. The army has admitted there was a toxic culture of bullying, brutality and intimidation towards young recruits at Deep Cut. Jeff took his life while patrolling its perimeter, armed and alone. The same circumstances in which Private Sean Benton died in 1995 and Private Cheryl James in 1997 and a year after Jeff's death, Private James Collinson also took his life on unsupervised guard duty. In Jeff's case, Surrey's assistant coroner said that he saw no evidence to remotely suggest that Jeff had been either bullied or subjected to excessive discipline. But the coroner did strongly criticise the Ministry of Defence for failing to learn from the earlier deaths about the risks to young trainees of allowing them to carry out armed guard duty on their own, a policy which only changed after the fourth death at Deep Cut. We took too long to implement the changes needed. Specifically, we took too long to recognise the risks associated with using young and inexperienced trainees for guard duty. Surrey police were also strongly criticised for an initial investigation that was rudderless and of very low quality. This inquest has heard that young people do sometimes make attempts to kill themselves with no apparent reason, but very few are also given easy and unsupervised access to a lethal weapon. Catherine Jones, 5 News, Woking.